Hello and welcome to our second review video, or rather, first look video. This time we're looking at Chosen Card Chronicles. I was officially given early access to try out this game, which will officially release on December 7, 2024, which is a little less than two weeks from now, so wishlist on Steam if you find it interesting. The game itself is advertised as a card collecting visual novel adventure. Upon trying it out, the main gameplay loop I encountered was having short bits of story, and I appreciated having all the buttons needed on the top right side of the text box, meaning you could play this game with just a mouse if for some reason your keyboard was broken. But it took some clicking to figure out what they all were, seeing as they were just icons. Now majority of the time I played, I was either in a card battle or in this main screen where I can choose how to progress or what to do in the game. There's quite a lot of the UI here, which can be a bit disorienting, so I just pressed everything to understand what was going on. Tutorial-wise, they do walk you through the way the card battles work, but in all honesty, I'm still not entirely understanding it because it's pretty complicated. I feel like it got all crammed into the first fight and I didn't really absorb it. Not only are there a lot of elements and types to keep track of, the command stars, which is what it costs to play cards, generation, is also part influenced by your deck and card playing, which I suck at. A cute little thing in relation to that though is if you're terrible at deck building like me, there's an auto build button which will automatically select your strongest cards, although the game warns you that you will likely need to tweak it if you want to take it to rank. That sign did not stop me because I can't read, and I don't actually understand how my first ever rank opponent was so insane, like look at how OP it is, I don't even know how they filled up the entire like deck slot field, what? Anyways, there also seems to be a way to bond with the characters that you meet with the little visual novel bits where you can get closer to them or even get deck building advice from them. In fact, I lost so much that after a 4 lose streak, our in-game little sister calls out to play to the player and like starts building a deck for you to try out. And in fairness to her, that was actually a pretty solid deck for me to start off with. And I just didn't completely understand, but I love this bird. This, this, this random bird card, it just goes ham and attacks the enemy up like three times and obliterates it. For the shops, there seems to be two different kinds of currency. The standard one that appears to be obtainable from regular battles, uh, winning them by the way. But I think the premium one comes from completing missions that you have on the side. There's also the option to either buy one specific stronger card or to go gambling with opening card packs for cheaper. A bit of a gripe on the card side for me was that I could never tell what a card could do or maybe I was unaware how? Like when picking the starter decks or even looking at the gacha pool, I could see the names of the cards within the deck or like within the card sleeves, but like I have no idea what they do unless I pull them or like I actually get them already. Also, I didn't initially realize it because the tutorial teaches you to press the card and put it where you want to place it, but apparently double clicking the card seems to automatically play it in what I can only assume is a random spot on the field. <laughs> Overall, Chosen Card Chronicles is an interesting experience. It has a few places to improve on, and like, especially on the UI side, I guess, with like at the very least um, organizing this main menu or being able to see what cards do even if you don't own them, like hovering them instead of just names. Or maybe like uh, they could display instead of just the names, they could display the card itself and then we could click on them and you don't have to do the hover thing. You could see it just like it is when you're in a card fight. I think it would take me quite a while to actually understand the intricacies that come with the card game. I mean, even the Steam description states that there's over 900 cards and <laughs> I'm struggling with like maybe the first 100. And if I had more time to dedicate to this, I would probably grant to top that rank leaderboard for the achievement for real. Like there's an achievement for that. And I think it's a single player game anyway, so I don't have to worry about getting skill issued by real people. I think I can just do it by myself against NPCs as long as they're not like jack the hell. <laughs> Usually I'm not good at cards or deck building games in general, but I'll be giving this a better shot when I have more time. Thanks for watching the short review or quick look. Bye bye!